Hey guys, Damien here from Above and Beyond. Uh, we've got a new feature we're working on at releasing in the next update. So some of you have mentioned you would like the ability, so when you click into a parent category, to be able to show a grid of thumbnails of the child or subcategories of that. So in this instance, it would be you click on women, then you would have a subcategory showing clothing, tops, bottoms, uh, you know, across the page here. The uh, way that the current theme is set up is we're using category images, right, to set as a banner. So uh, a problem for this is, well, we, we, there's only one area in the back end of big commerce, right, where you go to set a banner image. So say if we go into this one here and we go clothing dresses, we've set, you know, a banner image for this. So if we go into you know, uh, clothing dresses and we look at that category, there is that image that you've uploaded for the category image to set as a top banner, right? But the problem with that is there's only one area in BigCommerce where you can upload a category image. So what we've done as a solution is in the back end of the editor, we're going to add a, a setting in the category slot to subcategory image display as a top banner or as thumbnail. So when you change this, at the moment it's displaying as a top banner. If we change it to as thumbnails and let that refresh, what that is going to do is instead of showing uh, instead of showing it in the top banner, it's going to show them as thumbnails, right? So then you'll be able, and whenever you upload a, a subcategory image, right, you'll be able to set them. So basically, there's a switch. So for here, so say if we publish this, right, and then we reload the page. So if we go into women. It's not going to show the top as a banner anymore, and it's going to show the subcategory image. I'll just wait for that to reload. That's saved. Okay, so now the picture is not shown as a banner, and the subcategories under it, if you go and upload a picture for these, you know, clothing, if we go into product categories, and we go women, then we go clothing, and we've uploaded a picture, a subcategory, instead of it being a banner, We've, what we've done is uploaded a, a, a more of a square picture. Now, the dimensions for these are 190 pixels wide by 250 pixels high. Now, you can, as long as it's more of a rectangle shape, it will work. Just be consistent. So it could be 190 by 190. It's up to you, um, but you can, as long as they're about 190 wide, they will work, and as long as they're all consistent sizes. Now, now if we go into women clothing, right, it's going to show we were using that as a banner before. Obviously, now we've chosen to show them as thumbnails. It's going to, you know, swap that for a thumbnail picture. Now, you would have to update this depending on the way you want to run the site. Um, if you've chosen to run it as thumbnails, then you have to upload them as thumbnail image sizes, and that's actually set as a banner. So you'd have to go and swap that picture then. Now, if we're using thumbnails, um, yeah, you can still use the page builder to put uh, like a banner image above this area. So if you're if you're editing the theme, right, you've got these drag and drop locations. You've got drop widgets here, drop widgets here, and you've got a global region there. We also have added some global regions to the sidebar. You can put banners in the side now. Um, but I'll just show you, we'll put a banner in uh, maybe sort of just in this area. So we'll just drop an image here and I'm going to choose just one of the previous ones I've uploaded. Um, right, and now that will let you have a banner above, you know, the thumbnails. So that's also an option. Um, it just doesn't let you have the banner behind this title section here because there's only one area where you can do that. So that's sort of a, um, a solution for putting in banners, like wide banners above the thumbnails too. Now the other way that this works is rather than showing, you know, every single subcategory if they don't have an image and it would show like image, image coming soon, that's not a good way of doing it. What we've done is we will only display a thumbnail picture if there is one uploaded. So that gives you the ability to choose, say if you've got a lot of these, 
Um, you can just upload a thumbnail picture for maybe only three or four that you want to really show. Um, and then that will show across, across the page. So if I go in here and we go into uh, product categories, bottoms, we'll take that out. I'll remove that and we go save and exit. Now if we reload that category, bottoms will disappear. All right, and now if we wanted to upload and change and make, you know, maybe we want to show all of uh, maybe shoes and bags. So we'll upload, we'll click on shoes and bags. We'll upload a thumbnail picture for that. So I don't, what we'll do here is just, um, now obviously these haven't been scaled to the right size, but I'm just going to pick one just to show you that it, that it works. Right, and that will load the shoes and bags image. Now, that wouldn't have to be a, a correct size, would be a square image to upload there. So that gives you the ability. Unfortunately, you can't have both. Um, you can't have, you know, a banner here behind the image and the thumbnails because there's only one area where you can set a, a uh, category image in the back end of BigCommerce. So what we've done is given you the option to choose. You can do that under category subcategory image display as top banners or as thumbnails. By default, it will be as top banners. So this update should roll out shortly over the BigCommerce marketplace. Um, and uh, keep an eye out, it'll be update 1.2.4. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers.